everyone, this is Joe with Southeastern Frontiers, and today we are hiking in the Sipsi Wilderness on the Thompson Creek Trail on our way to the Needle's Eye and Ship Rock. So come along with us, it's gonna be fun. And today I'm hiking with friends. In this video, Jacob and I lead a group of friends on their first ever hike to the Ship Rock and Needle's Eye in the heart of the Sipsi Wilderness. We started at the Thompson Creek Trailhead and hiked south down Trail 206 through beautiful forest along the edge of Thompson Creek. The route has very little elevation gain, but passes through a variety of forest and canyon environments. We passed by Auburn Falls, which is dry this time of year, and arrived at the amazing Needle's Eye, which is a hole in the canyon wall created by an earthquake in 1909 that lets you pass right through to go from Thompson Creek Canyon to the Sipsi Fork Canyon. We then proceeded down to the Sipsi Fork Rapids, where we enjoyed eating our lunch on the huge rocks above the babbling stream. After hanging out at the Sipsi Fork for a time, we started back by a different path, circling around the stern of Ship Rock, past many great campsites, and then returning back up Thompson Creek on the path we came in on. This is a fairly easy six mile round trip hike and we had beautiful, if still warm, late October weather. I highly recommend this route to the heart of Sipsi if you want to get out and experience some lovely canyon country. So this barrier across the old bridge here at Thompson Creek is new since I was last here. I guess they uh, don't want people driving across anymore, <laughs> which I can understand, I guess. Oh, Lord, a tree <laughs> fell across it. Not very structurally sound. Wow. Yeah, that, that's really kinked down since we were last here. Look at that. And it uh, looks like the Thompson Creek is completely dry today. There's a bit over here. Is there? Oh, there's a little water there. Yeah. Yeah, well, it'll be easy to cross the creek if we want. So, uh, there's a new Forest Service sign here, too, since the last time I was here. So, uh, that's cool. But we are going to go to the right down Trail 206? 206, yes, 206. Looks like there was a lot of trees knocked down here at some point in the last year. Yeah, we had a lot of uh, bad storms come through not long ago. Yeah? A lot of pretty flowers too. Yeah, gorgeous. It's pretty. This is the uh, white oak hollow. In the wet season, there's a nice stream running through here, but we're here in the dry season, so it's pretty pretty dry. We can just walk right across. Uh, if you're here in March, sometimes it's a little tricky to cross this without getting your toes wet. But it's a it's a beautiful stream that runs right out here, down there, and it joins up with the Thompson Creek. And uh, it, it's an important milestone because if you're going to the big tree by way of the shortcut trail, then right up here, you're going to take a left and go up White Oak Hollow. I'll show you where that's at in just a minute. There's a really nice campsite here too. So uh, a lot of people just come here and camp right here. It's just, it's really beautiful, flat, big, very nice. So we are at the spot where the trail to the White Oak, the White Oak Hollow trail goes up here and takes you to the big tree. It's kind of faint. But we're going to stay on trail 206 right here and head down to Needle's Eye. Imagine cutting that chunk out of this tree. <laughs> that took some, with a handsaw, yeah, that took some work. Because uh, no power tools, no power tools allowed out here. So, oh, really? nope. Oh. Trail maintenance has to be done with hand saws. <laughs> yep. They have two man saws that they uh, that the guys who do volunteer to do trail service here, and they will have two man saws so they push and pull, you know, pull pull in opposite directions, huh. and they will cut through those big logs with that. It's a lot of work. All right, we got a little creek to cross here, and I don't remember crossing it, but obviously it's been here a little while. <laughs> These things just don't appear out of nowhere. Whoop. Yeah, someone piled stones. Ugh. 
All right, we're gonna start climbing up rocks now. We're gonna head for Auburn Falls, and uh, then we'll be uh, nearly to Ship's Rock. So, it's gonna be a little more rugged now than it has been. The cliffs are starting to close in on us. The canyon is narrowing. We're actually going up a little side canyon here to where Auburn Falls is. I don't hear it, so it's not running today, but uh, it's at the head of this canyon. It's always damp back here though, and cool. Even in a hot summer, middle of summer, you can come up this little box canyon and sit here and go, oh, it's so cool. Air conditioning. Because <laughs> there's water trickling through the rocks below us. But uh, Auburn Falls, if it were running, would be right up there at the head of the canyon. And it's very pretty. And there's a little side trail here. You can actually go up to the base of it. But nothing today. And uh, when it's running, the water will be running right down through these rocks here. It's very pretty. So there's a whole lot of tumbled rocks here. We are back down to the Thompson Creek. Right down here. Won't be long and we will be able to see Ship Rock. And uh, if the trees don't obscure it too much, we'll be able to see why it's called Ship Rock. Okay, we've come to a fork in the trail here, and uh, if this were winter or after the leaves have fallen, you would see Ship Rock right up here, um, really clearly defined, and it looks just like the front of the Titanic. I mean, it looks just like a ship. It's really cool. And then uh, off to the side of it is the Needle Eye, um, Needle's Eye, which uh, you can see also when there's no leaves, but right now you can't see them, so it's real easy to miss the turn. So uh, we're going to take a left here and go up to the Needle's Eye. There's a really nice big campsite here right before you go up to the uh, Needle's Eye. And uh, the first time I ever came out camping with uh, backpacking with Jacob, this is where we camped, right here. So uh, it's a very cool site. And from this campsite, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but they, we can just see the hole through uh, the Needle's Eye up there. Um, that's where we're headed. We're going to go through that. There we go. Now we can really see. There's the Needle's Eye. We just got to find our way up to it. So this is one way through the needle's eye. If you're into rock climbing, <laughs> it's not how I go through, but but uh, my boys used to like going through this way. <laughs> it's a pretty big cliff right here. But there's actually an easier way for old people like me to go around the side, kind of where Dane went. So this is actually ship rock in front of us and we're going to go around the needle eye and come through this little crack over here. Watch, <laughs> watch us wa wallow through this little hole here.
I could do that. You could have made that, you think? <laughs> I could definitely make it going down. That's kind of close to Fat Man Squeeze. It is, isn't it? <laughs> it is a little tough. Uh, it's a little tough. Especially trying to hold the phone in video. Uh huh. There you go. If you come up on this ledge and look back, mm -hmm. now you see uh, another reason why it's shiprock. Oh yeah. Isn't that cool? It's just a knife edge of a of a rock. Oh hey. The other thing I'd point out to you is notice the change in forest over here. Yeah. It's completely oh, yeah. different. And you can hear water running. True. <laughs> Such cool cliffs here. Well, Dane's taking the difficult way down. There is an easier way. Kind of steep getting down out of here. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of follow Dane a little bit. I've not really explored this cliff edge much. Hello! So in the time it took us to get here, Jacob went to the big tree and all the way back around running. <laughs> Pretty wild. Isn't that something? Such amazing cliff. All right, we have arrived at the Sipsy Fork, and there's some water in it. There are also tons of places people camp down here. But, uh, yeah, here we go. Now imagine this when the water's several feet deeper. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous here then. It's, it's, here, yeah, uh-huh. Like you see that right down there. It yeah. looks almost man-made down there. There's like a whole bunch of stones piled and it's like running through it. Cool. Big rocks tumbled down from the cliffs here. Oh, yeah. Just ginormous. We've been here when people kayak through here. Really? Uh-huh. Yeah. Does the water have to be high enough? Oh yeah. yeah, high enough to cover that rock you see out there that's flat top. Oh wow. Uh-huh. Jacob's gonna give the, uh, the little pool here a try. Surely it's warm, right? Surely. It's only like, what, October 19th? Yeah. 
Okay, that is quite deep. <laughs> yeah. Is it brisk? It's a bit cool. Jacob just noticed there's a huge fossil sticking log sticking out of the rock here. Yeah, you can see it even cut into the stem. All right, we're gonna head out. Hate to leave this, it's so pretty here. <laughs> Another little campsite right here. You can see the fire ring. This wouldn't be a bad spot, actually. Here's the fire ring. I was like it'd be good to rock climb if you were rock climbing. Yeah, it'd be good to free climb it because you can just do all the little pock marks put your fingers in. Unfortunately, somebody put their fire right by the edge of it and yeah. so did it all up. But, uh, right. yep. Yeah, probably too easy for most people to idea. Yep, it. yep. <laughs> I like the uh, tree growing down that sandstone cliff up there with the roots extending all the way down. <laughs> There's a 206 sign. We are going around the stern of Shiprock <laughs> at the end of the peninsula here. Now we're heading back up along Thompson Creek, which is off to our left. The water level is really low. We were just talking about how uh, one time when we were here, we got water right here. The water level was was right up along here. And this is where we got water. And <laughs> now it's way down there. That was pretty wild. This rock was underwater then. There's a good bit of water sitting here at Thompson Creek, but it's not flowing right now. And I've really never explored the other side. So one of these days I'm gonna do an off trail hike on the other side. We are back to that campsite right before we went through the Needle's Eye. So we've looped around the end of the peninsula here. Yeah, and, th and this is, it's actually the next little valley that has that little waterfall. But yeah, it's cooler here where the moisture's seeping out of the rocks. Yeah, a little, yeah, they are something hard. No, it's a living tree, just got a big hole in it. Probably it originally grew over top another log and that log is rotted away. Creek here. There's a little grove of hemlock we hiked through here. Really changes the feel of the forest. It's a lot darker, right? <laughs> Thank you. 
some nice ripple marks on this rock here. The sun's getting a little lower in the sky and it's amplifying those things. So we are crossing over the uh, White Oak Hollow again. So we are almost back to the start. We have returned to the trailhead. Here's the, the night forest service sign and a bridge over the Thompson Creek. So that was the hike to the uh, Sipsy Fork. What'd you guys think? I loved it. Cool. Was it cool? Yeah. Fun. yeah. That's one of my favorites for sure. <laughs> Down. Uh huh. Every fish that swims in here is down in these little ponds. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're just all like you could, they're like you could try scoop them out. Yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the video. Oh yeah, I see them. You see how many there are? Yeah, there's a bunch <laughs> of them in there. They got nowhere to go. Nope. They're like, please rain, please, <laughs> please rain, before the next otter comes by and swoops us up. Yeah, right. An otter, that'd be, that'd be a buffet. Hey everyone, thanks for coming along with me today. This was an awesome hike in the Sipsy Wilderness. Catch you next time.